What milestone would you like to mark as the next defining moment of China-Namibia relations down the road? December 4, 2023. This is the Chinese Jiuhua Satellite Launch Center. Belt and Road Initiative is taking cooperation among members even beyond planet Earth. Cooperation. Namibia just joined the global space race with a brand new satellite station built by China. This groundbreaking facility is a game changer for Africa's future in space. Who made it happen and why does it matter? This station symbolizes cutting edge technology and international partnership, boosting Africa's space capacity like never before. Watch closely. Chapter one, Namibia's space ambitions. Namibia is a vast dramatic landscape and a country where the environment rules daily life. For years, scientists and policymakers here have understood that space technology, especially the power of satellite data, can level the information playing field. Want to monitor the gradual creep of desertification? Satellites give you a year-on-year -year record. Trying to outsmart drought or spot new water sources after a dry season? Satellite imagery takes the guesswork out. Namibia's development planners have used this insight to drive a national push for space infrastructure. They want Namibia to move beyond donor dependency and start making data-driven decisions itself. The new ground station near Windhoek isn't just a technical marvel, it's Namibia stepping onto the world stage as a true participant in the global space community. This is more than government PR. It's about resilience, sovereignty, and leaving behind wait and see for see it and act fast in the face of climate shocks and food insecurity. If you're sitting in Windhoek or Swakopmund, this new station means your country can access global data streams directly. No middleman, no delay. That means when a flood threatens northern Namibia or desertification is advancing southwards, local decision makers no longer wait for data imports. Instead, they have real-time satellite insights at their fingertips, allowing faster responses that save lives and livelihoods. This technology leap is a hallmark of Namibia's future readiness, driven by a clear vision from its political and scientific leaders aiming to make the most of space capabilities for sustainable growth and climate resilience. Chapter 2. China's Growing Role in Africa's Space Industry Let's turn the lens now to China, Africa's fast-rising space partner. Over the last decade, China hasn't just exported solar panels and railways, it's put big investments into Africa's journey to space. And we're not talking about superficial aid. This is deep, strategic alignment. China doesn't just deliver equipment, it builds long-term partnerships grounded in tech transfer and ongoing training. Windhoek's new ground station is China's welcome to our orbital club card, with a network that stretches from Kenya's Malindi site on the Indian Ocean all the way west to Egypt's massive space city, the continent's first ever satellite assembly hub. The Chinese model is different from older powers. It's about shared missions, not just here's some gear. When you watch news from Cairo about Egypt assembling satellites or Kenya tracking launches, you're seeing a continent begin to stand alongside its partners, not behind them. And Namibia is becoming a pivotal node in that fast-growing network, according to Space and Africa reports. China's engagement goes beyond building stations. It's fostering a regional cooperation system that allows African countries to pool resources, share technical expertise, and jointly benefit from space data. This strategy enhances Africa's collective ability to tackle developmental challenges while cementing China's role as a key partner in the continent's tech leap. Chapter 3. What is the Windhoek Ground Station? So what's under the hood? This state-of-the-art facility near Windhoek isn't just a dish and some cables. It's the nerve center of Namibia's satellite technology ecosystem. It transforms incoming satellite streams into real-time, usable data such as high-res images of river basins, crop fields, wildfire zones, and more. This means Namibian scientists don't have to wait for international agencies to filter back pictures or temperature readings. For real-world impacts, think about agriculture teams using fresh satellite maps to sequence their planting, tailoring irrigation to actual soil moisture visible from orbit. Disaster managers get to see early warnings of locust swarms or flash floods instead of relying on chance reports from villages. And the environmental agencies can track illegal logging, slow-moving droughts, or even elephant herds day by day. Processing all this data locally kickstarts super-fast decision-making. 
enabling Namibia to use its information edge for smart, sustainable growth. This facility is strictly dedicated to civilian applications, environmental monitoring, agriculture, and public safety under Namibia's National Development Strategy. According to Namibia's Ministry of Environment and Tourism, this facility effectively turns the country's satellite data into actionable knowledge faster than ever before. The ability to locally manage satellite data has ripple effects well beyond agriculture and disaster management. Urban planners use it for infrastructure development. Water resource managers monitor reservoirs and aquifers. Wildlife officials improve conservation efforts. This ground station is Namibia's technological eye that sees far and wide, feeding knowledge into every sector essential for national progress. Chapter 4. Training Namibia's Next Generation of Space Experts but this isn't a plug-and-play toy dropped off by foreign engineers. China's mandate wasn't just about building a setup and handing over manuals. They've already trained dozens of Namibian engineers, creating an in-country cohort of space tech problem solvers who understand every part of the system. Training covers every station module, troubleshooting, and upgrades, so Namibia isn't left calling Beijing every time a warning light flashes. This is what capacity building actually looks like. Namibian experts, on Namibian soil, mastering the systems, and teaching the next wave of local students. The Chinese embassy has repeatedly flagged this as a central partnership pillar, not China leads, Namibia follows, but Namibians leading themselves into orbit. That's the sort of transfer that sticks, the kind that turns a project into a legacy, building the tech backbone for a generation of scientists, engineers, and policymakers who will drive the nation's innovation well after the ribbon-cutting ceremonies end, according to official statements by Namibia's Ministry of Information and Communication Technology. Investing in people ensures Namibia's space program isn't a flash in the pan, but a growing and sustainable endeavor. These trained experts are vital for future expansion, designing new satellite missions, researching applications, and even collaborating regionally on space science. Chapter 5. 35 Years of China-Namibia Cooperation None of the achievements surrounding Namibia's Windhoek Satellite Ground Station came about overnight. This success is deeply rooted in more than 35 years of robust diplomatic and practical cooperation between China and Namibia. From the moment Namibia gained independence, China stood as one of the earliest nations to recognize and support the new country's sovereignty. This early trust laid a foundation that has only deepened and expanded with time, inspiring numerous collaborative initiatives across sectors. According to the March 2025 press briefing by Namibia's Ministry of ICT, both Namibian President Haga Gaingab and Chinese Ambassador Chiu Shuijun highlight the satellite ground station as a shining example of what is possible when two nations collaborate closely and patiently. This partnership extends far beyond space technology. It has brought transformative benefits in building roads, establishing health centers, providing scholarships, and conducting technology workshops. Each project adds a layer of social and economic stability, empowering Namibia's growth and development. The new satellite ground station encapsulates this enduring alliance. It embodies a shared vision and the willingness of both nations to invest in real technology transfers, not merely hardware donations, but also the skills and knowledge needed for long-term success. This project stands as proof that the strongest international ties are forged project by project handshake by handshake, and through nurturing local expertise, one trained engineer at a time, according to official government and diplomatic sources. Chapter 6. China's African Space Network Namibia's Windhoek Satellite Ground Station is an important piece of a much larger puzzle, a growing network of Chinese-supported space facilities across Africa. Alongside Windhoek, China has established key nodes like the Malindi Tracking Station on Kenya's coast and the Swakopman Tracking Station in Namibia itself. These stations provide critical telemetry, tracking, and command capabilities for Chinese and joint satellite missions. This network is fundamental to supporting satellite operations, from launch and orbit maintenance to data collection and transmission. But this network isn't only about China's space ambitions. It also grants African nations unprecedented access to advanced space technology and infrastructure. Through these facilities, African countries gain vital experience, data access, and technical collaboration, empowering them to build local expertise and space programs independently. 
As these stations operate in tandem, they form a continental coverage system that offers faster, more reliable satellite data processing and applications for African development goals. According to Space in Africa and official Chinese sources, this shared infrastructure symbolizes a strategic shift toward greater African ownership and collaboration in space science, underpinning a new era of continental cooperation in space exploration and satellite utilization. Chapter 7 – The Satellite Manufacturing Powerhouse One of the most ambitious components of China's space partnership in Africa is Egypt's Space City a sprawling facility established with a $72 million grant from China, envisioned as the continent's satellite manufacturing and integration powerhouse. Thanks to this collaboration, Egypt is now able to undertake about 60% of all satellite assembly and testing processes domestically, a significant leap from previous dependence on foreign suppliers and a milestone widely reported by the Egyptian Space Agency and international observers. Space City hosts the African Space Agency headquarters and state-of-the-art assembly, integration, and testing laboratories capable of handling satellites weighing up to 650 kilograms. The facility supports detailed testing protocols that assure the performance and reliability of satellites before launch. Recent missions such as the MISIRSAT-2 have been developed and tested here providing high-resolution imagery critical for precision agriculture, urban planning, and resource management across Africa. This initiative complements Windhoek Station by focusing on upstream satellite manufacturing, enabling a full space cycle capacity on the continent, from production to data utilization. Chapter 8 – Real-World Benefits for Namibia and the Region So what real difference does this space infrastructure make on the ground? This new hub is unlocking practical tools for national development, especially in agriculture, environmental protection, and disaster response. Farmers can receive precise weather forecasts and soil moisture data to optimize irrigation, improving crop yields and conserving water, a scarce and precious resource in the arid landscapes of Namibia. Environmental authorities can use satellite imagery to monitor land degradation and combat the advancing desertification that threatens agricultural productivity and biodiversity. Disaster preparedness is another game changer. The station allows real-time monitoring of flood-prone areas and drought conditions, providing early warnings that save lives and reduce economic losses. For example, during seasonal rains, flood-prone regions receive timely satellite-based alerts, enabling emergency responders to prepare evacuation or resource deployment plans swiftly. These benefits extend into the broader Southern African region as Namibia shares its enhanced satellite data capabilities with neighboring countries, fostering regional cooperation around climate adaptation and natural resource management. The station not only enhances Namibia's resilience, but also serves as a replicable model for other African nations aspiring to leverage space technology for sustainable development. Chapter 9 – Political Leaders Driving the Project Projects of this magnitude don't materialize without visionary political champions. Namibian President Hage Gengab has been a strong advocate for integrating technology and innovation within national development strategies. His administration views technological advancement, including space capabilities, as central to economic growth and poverty reduction. On the other side, Chinese ambassador to Namibia, Chu Shui-jun, has played a pivotal role in maintaining and deepening the diplomatic and technical ties that made the ground station possible. As stated by Ambassador Chu Shui-jun in his 2024 diplomatic address at the China-Namibia Innovation Forum, he represents Beijing's commitment not just to infrastructure, but to fostering collaboration, training, and sustainable partnerships. Their joint efforts are emblematic of a broader regional enthusiasm. Leaders from neighboring African countries have expressed interest in such developments, recognizing the Windhoek Station's potential as a catalyst for wider Africa-wide space collaboration. The shared vision among these political figures is driving momentum, encouraging more ambitious projects and regional coordination that promise to propel Africa's space capabilities forward. Chapter 10 – China's Long-Term Vision for Africa's Space Capabilities China's engagement in Africa's space sector is part of a strategic, long-term vision. It aims to empower African nations beyond hardware provision by building expertise in key space domains such as satellite navigation, communication, and Earth observation. 
This strategy aligns with China's broader commitment to African development and cooperation on high technology fronts. The goal is to foster African ownership and innovation capacity, facilitating the continent's entry into the global space economy on its terms. By supporting infrastructure like Windhoek and Space City, training local talent, and promoting collaborative satellite missions, China positions itself as a trusted partner in building Africa's sustainable space industry. This reflects a keen understanding that space technology is not just a tool, but a transformative lever for economic empowerment, scientific progress, and geopolitical influence throughout Africa. The new satellite ground station in Windhoek is a game changer for Namibia, putting the country on the global space map and boosting its ability to use satellite data for real-world challenges. Thanks to China's partnership, Namibia is not only gaining high-tech infrastructure, but also training its experts to take charge. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on global innovation and partnerships like this one. Thanks for watching.